The point is to do rate limit tuning. And in many cases, when we open the configuration, uh, we see that the rate limit is tuned too high. Uh, let's give an example. The rate limit is set to uh, not allowing more than 100 requests per second. That's obviously too high. Uh, yes, it doesn't cause false positive to legitimate users, but, but when there will be an attack, the rate limit is not going to be effective. Uh, an attacker using a normal bot, even just having 1,000 bots, each one making 50 requests per second can still cause impact to the site and the rate limit is not effective, it's below the radar. So you need to reduce and fine tune the rate limit, uh, but also you have to uh, make sure that you're not reducing it for, for being it too low. And if it's uh, too low, it's going to impact legitimate users. So you don't want that as well. That's called, called false positive. So in a certain process that we call rate limit tuning, you need to find the accurate number of where to set that rate limit. And then that number will guarantee that you are not impacting a legitimate user on the one hand, and you are also uh, setting it on a value that will be effective under a, a significant DDoS attack. But uh, on top of that, uh, you, you should not just have just one global rate limit for the entire organization or for, for each uh, domain. You should uh, have a rate limit per each service. So for example, if you have three services, A, B, and C, you should set a rate limit specific for each one. And, for, and that rate limit can be further fine-tuned. For example, service A, can be fine-tuned to 10 requests per second, which is more accurate than the 20 global rate limit. Service C, uh, at the end, can be even a rate limit to uh, five requests per second. And uh, service B can be even rate, lim rate limited to two requests per second. Let's say that service B is the login, uh, login page. And you can say, I don't think that a legitimate user should do more than two login attempts in a second, if it's if uh, it is doing more than that, I can uh, rate limit it, or I can even set to uh, to block it once this threshold is being crossed.